In this project, we will simulate the external flow passing over a flat plate. The present two-dimensional model is drawn using Design Modeler software. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh tab is a structure. Under the general setup tab, you can see different buttons from scales to units. By clicking on the scale, by clicking on display button, a new window will appear which you can see different part, parts of your geometry. After double clicking on the energy button in the appeared box, you can see that we have enabled the energy equation since we wanted to calculate the temperature changes and temperature distribution inside our computational domain. If you click on the inlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be velocity inlet. By clicking on edit, a new window will appear in which you can change the settings for this boundary. Also, if you click on the thermal tab, you can see the temperature of the airflow entering the inlet boundary. Now by clicking on the outlet boundary, you can see that the type of this boundary is defined to be pressure outlet. After clicking on edit button and the appearance of the new window, the most important point you should pay attention to is the gauge pressure, which is defined to be equal to zero, which means that our airflow will exit our computational domain to the atmosphere. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals or reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right-clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. After double clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear showing you different methods of initialization, hybrid and standard. Now in the standard initialization method, you get to choose the first amounts and values for the first iteration of the simulation progress. These values refer to the values used in the first iteration of the simulation progress and if you choose the values for each parameter wisely, your simulation progress will finish sooner. It should be mentioned that you can also choose the first values and in, or the initial values by just clicking on the compute from drop down list and clicking on one boundary. For example, by clicking on compute from all zones, the software will automatically average the values in different zones and boundaries and Put those values in the initial values for the software. Now in order to extract 2D contours, uh, you just have to right click on contours button and then select new. After that in the appeared window under the contours of section, you can select your desired variable. Uh, for example, in this slide we are going to extract temperature contour over the surface of a uh, flat plate. Uh, after that we click on save or display button and the software will show us this 2D contour. Now in this 2D contour, you can easily see the thermal boundary layer increasing its thickness as we go along the flat plate. And now in this slide, which shows the velocity distribution uh, on our computational domain, you can easily see the dynamic boundary layer thickness increasing as we go along the flat plate. Now in this di diagram, which shows the heat transfer coefficients for different Reynolds numbers, there are two points you should pay attention to. First point is that the surface heat transfer coefficient drops drastically uh, when the boundary layer is formed. Uh, and the second point is that the value of this heat transfer coefficient increases when we increase the Reynolds number or the velocity of the airflow passing over the flat plate. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present problem simulates the external flow of air passing over a flat plate. The operating fluid used in this simulation process is air, and the model is two-dimensional, so that the lower edge of the model represents the flat plate, and the two vertical edges on the left and right of the model are equivalent to the inlet and outlet of the airflow. The plate temperature is assumed to be constant value of 303 Kelvin and the free air flow temperature is assumed to be 273 Kelvin. 
The fluid flow is also in laminar type because the definition values for Reynolds number are less than the critical Reynolds in the case of external flows on the plate. The values of the defined Reynolds are equal to 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, and 50,000, respectively, which will determine the amount of incoming air velocity according to the relation related to the Reynolds number. The present two dimensional model is drawn using Design Modeler software. This model consists of a simple rectangle in which the lower side represents a flat plate. The upper side represents the condition of symmetry and the lateral side represents the inlet and outlet of the open air flow. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is a structure. The element number is equal to 3000. To benefit from Mester CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mestercfd.com.